Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we'd like to direct your attention to center court as the storied history of Titan Athletics will raise another jersey to the rafter today in native Detroiter, former Titan standout, and two-time NBA champion Earl, the Churl Quirrelton. One of the top former Titan standouts and two-time NBA champion. Players in school history in the late 70s, he helped the Titans get back to the NCAA tournament and then went on to an outstanding career in the NBA, playing for, among others, his hometown, Detroit Pistons, and winning an NBA championship with the Philadelphia 76ers and Houston Rockets. Let us welcome to the court, Earl Curitan. I will now turn it over to the voice of the Detroit Pistons, George Laha. Thank you, Tom. Great to work with you again. Tom Ryan, a Detroit broadcasting legend. But I'll tell you what, it's an unbelievable honor to be here on this special occasion for a great player and an even greater person, my man Earl Curitan. <laughs> Earl, your accomplishments on the court, your role in the community, your dedication to your university right here, and your push for the betterment of Detroit have been amazing, absolutely amazing. He starred in this building for two years, helped the Titans back to the NCAA tournament in his first year. As a Titan, they were 22 and six. They beat the Oregon Ducks. They beat Georgetown. They beat Marquette. And then in his senior year, he was the Robert Callahan Titan MVP and was named all Midwest by the Sporting News and Basketball News. The Titans had themselves a star in Earl Curitan. Then it was on to the NBA. Drafted in 79 by the Philadelphia 76ers, we were proud to have Earl as a Piston for part of his 12-year NBA career, which included those two championships Tom Ryan mentioned in Philadelphia and in Houston. He's now a community ambassador for the Pistons in his hometown, where he graduated from Finney High School. A proud Detroiter. Earl, you've been great on and off the court. Congratulations on being recognized tonight as one of the all-time Titan greats. And now, folks, we have a special treat for you, a message from the one and only Dick Vitale. Hi everybody, Dick Vitale. I'm really excited to share a message here about Earl Curitan. Earl Sutton was a terrific, terrific basketball player and a beautiful guy along the way. I only wish I had the opportunity to coach him, but he came in a little bit after I left. And I will tell you this, he was a bona fide star there for the Titans. Did a great job. Spokey Gaines raved about him. Raved about his work ethic, his drive, his desire. And let me tell you this, a winner. What a winner's mentality. Think about it. He was a winner at UAD. He did a great job and certainly deserves having that jersey hanging up there with all the greats, the people like Terry Tyler and John Long and Terry Durod and certainly Spencer Haywood and Dave DeBush, all the greats that are playing there for the Titans. But let me tell you something, he's a winner. Yes, Earl was a winner when he played with the Titans and he certainly was a winner in the NBA. He has two rings, baby, two, two championship rings. Yes, played with the great Dr. J, played with Moses Malone, and then he also won a title not only with Philadelphia, he won one when he was in Houston. He won and played with the great Hakeem Olajuwon. I mean, those are great, great players, there's no doubt about it. And certainly Earl was a contributor. He was tough. He had that tenacious ability to go after a rebound like you couldn't believe. He was a guy you needed on your team. Not just guys that want to score points, but guys that are going to find little things to do to win. So I said Congratulations, Earl. You've earned this great honor, 
and now you're still helping the university out, working in the field of broadcasting. I wish you all the luck in the world, my friend. Chase your dreams, chase your goals. And remember this, always, always, just give your best in pursuit of any goal or dream you have. To me, that's a sign of a great winner. And Earl Curitan, you're a great, great winner. And now, let's hear from another Titan legend, Terry Durod. When I first met Earl Curitan, it was 1977. And it was raving about this guy. I was like, who is Earl Curitan? And when he got off the plane, he ran like a gazelle. Never seen a guy run like this guy ever in a lifetime. It was incredible, brother. Only thing I could hate is I couldn't play with you more than one year. We went to the on and won the, played in the NCAA. That was one of the greatest times of my life, brother. Then you went on, played in the NBA 12 years, two championship rings. What more can you say about you, brother? Went on, worked in the community for the Pistons. You a staple, brother, and I love you. And now, the man of the hour, Earl Curitan. Thank you, thank you. Man, I don't know what to say. Uh, just lost my mother around Thanksgiving time and one of her favorite quotes is, God is great. You know, God is great. And I gotta say that tonight. Um, you know, I never thought I'd have an opportunity to be standing here and having an opportunity to get my jersey retired and, you know, in my hometown and at my college and to have an opportunity to be here with all of my friends. Uh, tonight is a special night. I was able to draw a lot of my good friends here tonight. Um, I got the youth, the community youth to come in here tonight. We had a community youth night and I see a lot of them in the stands. That means a lot to me. But my teammates and my family, you know, I like to... Judith and Siri, you know, without you guys, I don't know where I'd be at. We spent almost 30 years together and 20 with you, Siri, and you've been a support and backbone to me my whole life. So, most important people. Talk <laughs> Basketball here at UAD. Uh, John Long, Terry Tyler, when I first came here, was a staple in the building, and those two guys kind of groomed me the year that I red shirted. You know, me and Kevin Smith, you know, we came in together and Got a chance to play with Joe Kopecky and Jeff Whitlow and my point guard, Will McCormick. Where I'd be without you, you led us for all those years that we were here and the great moments and times that we had together. Joe Kopecky, the first stretch five in the game that could shoot the ball from out there to the fitness area. And then I got a lot of uh, my former teammates you know, with the Pistons here, LaValle Perry, a former player here that was here with us. Wilbur Ross came into the building. My head coach, Smokey Gaines, sitting back there, the one that uh, really molded me, the one that told me never to shoot a jump shot again, oh, so I never see a court stuck with me for the rest of my career and helped me succeed. Toronto Anderson, I had a chance to play with my assistant coaches, uh, Benny White, grad assistants, Randy Henry, you guys were there, and then my Pistons family. Um, Aaron Tellum, you know, I want to thank you for everything. You guys have been great. I enjoy, you know, working with the Detroit Pistons. Ethan Davidson, you know, I played for your dad for all those years. And Charlie Vasca, me and you are out here banging away, doing all the things that we need to do. My good friend, my partner in crime, I knock people out whenever I need them knocked out. Charles Oakley is in the house tonight. I made sure Charlie O was going to be here because if I had any problems, I know he would handle it. <laughs> Benny Johnson, you know, I spent some great years in Detroit playing with you. I'm so glad that you was here. My two boys sitting back in the back, and I know Rick, you know, got a lot of positive things. I know how much Rick, I know how much you love me, how much time we spent together. And Buddha Edwards, you know, what can I say? Those are my boys right there. Mike Abdenar, you kept me healthy without modern technology for all of those years. Derek Coleman, watch you grow up in this city. Watch you dominate high school basketball. I don't know who was the best, you or Terry Mills. I don't know what you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
But anyway, I just want to say that I'm, I'm blessed to have this opportunity, and I know my time is running out right here, and I want to thank everybody for coming out, supporting me tonight, making this a, a great night for me. I mean, it's a wonderful night, and I just want to say I love the fans, and I just want to say this Titan team is going to come out. They're playing the way the Titans are supposed to be. Don't make this your last night in Callahan Hall. Come back and support our Titans. Go Titans. And now Earl and Athletic Director Robert Fowles will unveil the banner.